Hi and welcome. So we're going to start with our feet in parallel position. Just enough space for one extra foot to be between your two feet. We're going to rally, so coming onto the front of your feet, lifting your heels off the ground, arm arc, arm circle down, breathing in, breathing out to come up, breathing in to come down. Thinking about having a strong core here. Now this is called um, busted out, it's some of my favourite exercises which I just love to bust out. So in keeping with that theme, just hang on a minute. Don't worry, we're still doing Pilates. I'm just going to really enjoy myself with my koala jumper. That's it. We keep going with what we're doing. Releve arm arc. Now you're going to arm circle while you plie. Keeping your knees parallel. Arms halfway down. Arms all the way down. And hooks. So releve. Which means just come onto your toes. Pause your feet. Arm circle. Arms halfway, arms all the way. One more. Trying to cross different arm in front. I like what I'm doing. Rolling down, so chin towards chest. You try to scoop that belly. Keep your pubic bone lifted as long as you can. Rolling down one vertebrae at a time. Your weight is in the front of your feet. Bending your legs, let your belly rest on your thighs. Extending your legs as much as you can, sit bones away from one another. Bend again, get your belly away from your thighs. And rolling up. I'm going to do that all in one sequence now. So, relevé arm mark, arm circle and plie, arms halfway. Arms and heels down, rolling down. Really lifting through your pelvic floor, engaging your abdominals here. Breathing out to move. Breathing into bend. Breathing out to extend. Breathing into bend. And breathing out as you roll up. Shoulders. Right, one more. Nice front support position. Now you're going to keep this front support position as tight as you 
can and you're just going to rock back and forward. Side to side. You can go slow. Lifting through that pelvic floor. Tight abdominals, tight legs. Back and forward. Swap the side. We're going to push into inverted V. Now you're going to do a big wave here. So pelvis tucks under, pubic bone reaches towards your bottom ribs as you roll forward and you end up in a front spot. Now reaching with your bottom high in the sky. Back to the inverted V. As you come forward, you're reaching towards the ground with those heels. And pushing with your hands to come back. Do one more. Your head is the last to arrive. We're going to start with your left leg. So, bending both legs. Uh, you're on the ball of your feet. Left leg straightens behind you. Now it's going to raise as your right heel reaches towards the ground and lowers as your right leg bends. Pushing with those hands, keeping those shoulders strong. I know it might not look like it, but I'm aiming not to move my shoulders. And I don't want any of this. I'm trying to keep that back straight. And you get to work your buttocks. Next time it's up, keep it up. And you're going to um, twist so that your left hip is on top of your right hip. Your left leg is reaching towards the ground at your chest. I mean, your left leg is reaching towards the sky, but your chest is reaching towards the ground. Now, you're going to reach through that foot as much as you can as it lowers. You find a point where it can't go any further. You're going to push it back up. Down and up. So we're pushing through those arms. Last one. You're just going to bend that top leg, give yourself a nice stretch. Going back to centre. You're going to do a jackrabbit. So you're going to curve your spine as your leg comes towards your chest. Back to the seat. One more. Now it's going to come to your left shoulder. Two. Now your right shoulder. Keeping that back curved. like a jackrabbit, get that shape first, put your foot on the ground, back leg on the ground, and tuck your toes, coming up into a 90-90 position, 90 degrees here, 90 degrees there, reaching with your right arm up as your tail tucks under, so if you have a, if you had a really long pube and you pulled it, that's the feeling we're going for, back up, your left arm floats up, and down. So you can push into the ground to your back shin. Breathing in. Breathing out to float your arm up. Breathing in to let it lower. One more. Right arm reaches towards the ground. You line with your knee under your shoulder. Keep those hips forward. This is still in 90 90 position. Breathing in, armpit to the sky. Breathing out, chest towards the ground, reaching towards the ground with your left hand. Breathing in. And out. One more. Back as your arms come forward. Now your weight goes 
over that front leg and just see how you where your end of range movement is come back from that push the front of your foot to go back so wait in the back of your foot to come forward and then push just before you get to your end range so it's more of a fluid motion or a circular motion also looks really good in life but I'm sure Alright, next time you forward, stay forward, swivel that back knee, come into a 90-90 position. Arm comes back. Now grease lightning forward. Elbow reaches, arm reaches. Grease lightning. Again, not going to your full range, it's just off of that. Uh, pelvis is still forward, no, no ducks allowed here, I'm sorry. You're wanting your body to stay upright. What other good movement with this costume? Okay, right arm reaches to the outside of your left leg now. And just sort of bounce here. Bend in the front 
leg twice, bend, bend, extend. Now bend the back leg. Nice little bounces. Just adding little hops. See where you can put your foot on the mat, off the mat. Let those hops get bigger. Try not to hit the furniture if you can help it. Coming back into standing split. Last one. Stay in there. Really reaching towards the scar of your back foot. Bent front leg just slightly. See if you can balance. One hand, two hands. Really great for that stability of the ankle. Bring your hands towards the floor. The hand comes a little bit further forward. You're going to tilt your pelvis. So your right butt, right Right hip bones over your left hip bone. Right foot is reaching towards the sky. See if you can get that right hand off the floor and reach up. You're really brave. You can look up too. Right, back to standing split. Bend that front leg. Really reaching backwards with those back toes. Going into your aeroplane position. Coming up to stand. Ooh. Right foot crosses over. Right hand reaches up. We're going to do a nice side bend here. And to the other side. You notice one side is much looser than the other. Arm up, arm circle with the plie. Arms halfway, arms all the way, rolling down. Chin towards the chest, rolling down one vertebra at a time. Pelvic floors lifting, abdominals are hugely engaged. Try to curl that back. Breathing into bend, breathing out to extend. Bend and extend a few times, just notice any differences in your legs. Okay, round the bang, bend, straighten your right leg, lift, and look. You might not be able to see it under my flares, but my left knee is bending. Now, and straightening. Try really hard not to arch my back. That is our last one. Then twist your hips open. So your right leg is reaching to the sky. My chest is reaching to the ground. Lower. And raise. Help us with the pet eyes that be looking at you. Really reaching through that back foot. Nice one. Going back to centre. Jack Krabbits. Curling the spine. Straighten. Curl. Right knee reaches to your towards your right shoulder. Still pushing my back heel towards the ground as I come back there. Opposite shoulder. One more jack rabbit. Centered, nice and slow, slow as you possibly can. Placing your foot on the ground. Coming into a 1990 position. Left arm reaches up. Long pew, pull it up. Bring it out as a 
Arm raises, break the innocent bones. Taking all of my energy not to bust out these 70 moves right now. Right, left arm reaches towards the floor. Hand comes under your shoulder. Your hips stay above your knee. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in, arm hip to the sky. Breathing out, chest towards the ground. Looking for the ground through that right hand. Side of the foot. Weight comes forward, I need to go back. Weight comes forward, you push with the front of your foot just before you go, get to your end range. Forward, I need to go back. Next time you're forward, stay forward, swivel the back knee. So now you're in a 90-90 you know, position, but this one is facing the other way. Grease lightning. Again, your body's trying to stay upright. So this doesn't quite work the same, you need to stay upright. Left hand reaches to the outside of your right knee. You're just going to bounce. Try and keep these arms straight so that it avoids you doing this. If anyone likes their pelvic floor, you will love this move. Arm, side bend. Bounce to side bend. Notice my body comes upright before I bounce. Last one. Weight comes forward. Nice side bend. You're still reaching towards the sky with your armpit. And circle towards the ground. Uncircle your back leg. Push your heel into the ground. Arching here. Side to side. Come into a long lunge, so weight comes forward, tuck your toes under. Nice long lunge, find a position that's comfortable for you. Arms overhead. Arching. Arms circle. Bend that back leg. Arms come ahead, overhead, swim through. Do it once more. I'm actually reaching up my pubic bone here to avoid any pain in my lower back. Out. Breathing in, tight abdominals, breathing out, coming to stand, pushing the air up, pushing the air down. Arms together, left hand reaches forward. Opposite way, in an open position now. Back arm reaches up, see left arm, two bounces, swap arms, go into an aeroplane position. Again. Reaching softly into your back into your long lunge. We're going to do one of everything now. Reaching back, arms overhead, swim through, standing. Take your breath in. 
Breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in to cross. Breathe out. Breathe in to open. Breathe over your line. Left arm up. Bounce. Aeroplane. Bend your supporting leg. Placing your back leg down. Straight back into this. Breathing in. Stand up to the sky. Breathing out. Breathing in. And breathe in to stand. And cross. Long lunge, hands on the ground, triangle, two bounces in a triangle, front leg, two bounces, triangle. Then you're going to come onto the ball of your back leg and bounce here. Oh, excuse me. And then a little hop. Yes, this was a costume. But as I said, it was. Letting the leg get a bit higher. <laughs> you still experiment with where you can put your leg. We're going to stand straight into your sand splits. Last one, stay there. Then it's a point leg slightly, reaching up your back leg. See if you can balance here. Yeah. It's not always as pretty. Okay, hands to the ground. Right hand a bit further forward. Reaching up your left leg now. Your hips uh, pivot over your right hip. Reaching up with your left hand. Seeing if you can look up or not. Okay, come back into your standing split. Walk your body up to your aeroplane. Come into stand. Left leg comes over. Reach with your left arm. Nice side bend here. And the other side. That's better. Okay, keeping your legs crossed, bringing your hands to the floor. Right leg, left leg. So your knees are stacked over one another. Yeah. Feet are apart. So if you can get your sit both bum cheeks on the ground. If that's uncomfortable, just go into a standard cross-legged position, left leg on front, on top. Coming forward, just going to melt over here. Bring your hands to one side, see if that's a nice stretch. And the other side, just see what feels right for you. Everyone's going to turn to your right, your hands on the floor, unswivel your legs, and look, we're here. No, um, you're going to grab your elbows, and it's going to swing from side to side. Next time you're at your right, grab your ankle with your left leg, left hand, right hand reaches in front. And you're going to twist to your right. Just gently, don't strain. Breathing into your back. Going back to your swings. Next time you're at your left, grab with your right hand. Left hand reaches along the floor. See how much you can twist comfortably. Do not overdo it. Thank you. Continue.
you turning to your right. Swivel on your feet. Knees come down. And you should be with your right leg on top now. Genius. Hands coming forward if you want to. As always, listen to that body of yours. It's pretty magnificent. Bringing your hands and your body anywhere that feels good for you. That'd be a good time to reconnect with your intention of the day. I just want to take this moment to say thank you so much for coming on this lovely journey with me. This is one of my favourite sequences, so I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, now we uncross our legs. Bring your right leg towards your left. Come onto your knees. Hands in front. Back to our leg. Just going to check back into those abdominals, see if they're still firing. Lifting up through your pelvic floor. Nice straight legs. Hands pulling away from one another, growing tall through the crown of your head. None of this. There we go. Side to side. Pulling your heels away from you. Pushing back into an inverted V. I'm just going to walk your hands back to your feet. Bending the legs. Extending, trying to keep your tummy in contact with your thighs. Bend, extend. Bringing your belly away from your thighs now. A nice curved position. You're going to roll up one vertebrae at a time. Using those deep abdominals to get us up. Shambhupa. Last one, right of our arm arc. Arm circle. Arms halfway. Arms all the way. Reaching up, clenching your bum here. Reaching back, look to the sky with your sternum. And as your arms come forward, you're going to curve your spine just like in roll down. Bend the legs, straighten as your arms go back. Bend your legs. And back up to here. Okay, a little bit quicker. Bringing in. And up. Bend you. Position. 